Hebrew myths, Raphael Patti and Robert Graves. You know, Robert Graves. Mm -hmm. um, there's Christian mythology. Um, basically, all your Gnostic um, material is Christian mythology. So in so many words, the myths are more advanced than the theologies, because theologies can get to the point that they can get cultural and political. But the mythology, you can have a person that's Native American, and you can have a person that's Eskimo, and then you can have a person that's Asian. And when you study their mythologies, you'll find the basic same motifs. You see, and although they're living on two opposite ends of the world, you go to Africa, you even go to Europe, you see. You go to the Mediterranean and they have all this mythology from world mythology and yet they will still have the same basic principles and motifs. So the whole concept here is to get the commonality and therefore also, and because this is dealing with people that have problems with this thing, therefore you can basically, as a result of, uh, uh, of understanding the corresponding systems, will get to the bottom of what you really need to get to the bottom of and don't get stuck in this web of who's wrong and who's right. You know, and just basically there's an old saying that says, there are those people that study the quilt. And the quilt has patches. And each patch has a design. Each patch has a different fabric. Each patch is sewn together by certain threads. Certain threads of different colors. And you can spend a thousand years studying the quilt and not even realize that up under the quilt there's an entire bed. And that was just a layer. Mm -hmm. And so people can study the quilt, or as they say in the black community, or popular community, branch knowledge, and never get to the tree. But never decided to turn back the quilt and there's a whole bed. So the whole concept is there's no religion higher than truth. He who knows one book knows none. Mm. you see and it's unraveling and what makes sense today will make totally different may, might mean something totally different tomorrow even as, as much as last week or last month I'm finding out things about certain things and getting clearer and clearer on, on aspects of things so, so in that particular case the, the mythology or the motifs are, are, very, are very key so you have John the Baptist. Well, John the Baptist is also in, in, in Egypt, Tahuti. And Tahuti is also Anubis, the double Anubis, Herman Anubis, because Hermes is the Greek Tahuti. You have Anubis, Herman Anubis is, a, is, a, is, a, is one later on resurrected in Greece. But here's Anubis, that's John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Then you have Mary and Mary Magdalene. You have Mary and Mary Magdalene. And, he had, and Mary Magdalene rubs the feet of Jesus, but then we have Vishnu, which is the, the, the Hindu form of Jesus, has his consort, Lakshmi, which is a form of Mary. And she rubs this one we have here, rubs the feet of, of Jesus. You see. So your John the Baptist would also be Hanuman, one that is with the Christ and an aid to Vishnu. Uh, in Vishnu's incarnation as Rama. You see, as, as Rama. Another form of the great mother is the cat, Sekhmet, which is the Lion of Judah, later on turned into a male deity. You see, a, a, a male deity. But Sekhmet is the great harlot, so she can be Jezebel. You see, in the Bible. And these mythologies, a lot of times, they're not talking about evil, but they're talking about principles. Because it was interesting when we started going back into ancient Kemet, um, the first thing the Afrocentric scholars did is to try to compare and line up the characters of the Bible with the characters of ancient Egypt. So the first thing they did is Set became the evil Satan. And I remember years later, uh, me and the, and the teacher C. Freeman L. was sitting out in Atlanta and was looking at some actual, uh, I think it was the King Tut's um, sarcophagus book with all the 
funerary things, and there's a picture of I think it's King Tut, and there's another picture of the goddess uh, of, the, of the queen hat shaft suit, and different pictures of the pharaoh standing in the middle of Horus and Set, and right then he knew, he said, "Well, we gotta rethink this 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 concept of good and evil when it comes to Horus and Set, and understand that we're talking about polarities." The horse and set and the king standing in between them is no different than the yin and the yang sign that you have in Asia, you see. Or uh, you have Krishna and his dark brother Balarama, you see. So we have these the same motif in this mythology going on and on. So we're going to go into a, a couple of things today. I'm going to post a little libation and spit, you know, libation and all and give some of uh, the entities, the props, and um, and then we're going to, um, you know, go. So we're just going to a little, little short libation, you know, because the energy is already here and they all know who it is. So we will just do this one. Um, mm. uh, sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, good looking out. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll get one to Hanuman. Vishnu, Lakshmi, Anubis, Osiris, Aset, Heru, Sekhmet, Sekhmayat, Shiva, Pravati, Shadi, Hanuman, Ganesha, Kali, um, Lilith, Layla, Lilith, Apep, Tiger, Tiger, Sutnubit, Sutnesi, Heru, Heru, Bahukit, Nuit, Hattic, Raha, Hewitt, Hamaku, Amarcus, Krishna, Radha, Sita, Rama, Sadi, Pavadi, Agni, Anubis, Heru, Parset, Kansu, Mentu, Mentep, Saint, Saint, Ramanatu, uh, Zarabanda, Kumbanda, the Kumbanda, Kumbanda Universe, Erzuli, um, Bridget, Dambalavedo, Adawedo, Adavurdi, uh, Metatron, Metronet, uh, Vim, Boatia, Kalipas, Netters, Nibiru, the Titans, the Viathon, the Tyathon, Sutan, Satan, Awas, Obas, Ibas, um, uh, Mawa, Lisa, um, Yeminya, uh, Ma uh, uh, Mamiwata, uh, Marinette, what's that? Zay, what was it? What is that? Zay Kuma. Zay Kuma. Ah, this came forth. Ishtar Monu, Noku, Mana, Titi, Joba, Inmatu, Otitia, Tiesa, Sheola, Shumala, Omagumu, Alcala, Lokeo, Kakombo, Labado, Atama, Luigi, Oduado, Powa, Leoa, Godugo, Biwasa, Awam, Gurage, Amati, Exantis, Casembo, Anubaret, Notorio, Babylonia, um, um, uh, Nisabab, Isala, Alfio, Lokeo, um, um, Yakaifa, Bozan, Fleeman, Zimwig, um, Yafez, Cooperini, Bilfra, uh, who did I leave out? Anybody that you know of? Um, you can think of, huh? Lokai, Lokeo, Kakumbo, um, uh, well, let's see, uh, Mama Shola, Madre de la Luna. Um, uh, Santissima Muerte, Santissima Peter Eman, she, 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 she. Francisco Fiatireo, San Simone, El Cristo Negro, La Fritas and Tranquilas, El Cristo Ray, she, she. Um, Simbi, Arasha, Petro Rada, Congo, um, Azazel, Samaza, Kalipas, Summers of Set, Das, I ain't sort of all killers, Shakma. Uh, Tipperus, Hakma, Baina, uh, Malkuth, Baku, Lamayin, Lamat, um, Herman Nubus, Aphrodite, Ishtar, Nana, Astarte, Saba, and I think we pretty much covered as much, uh, uh, I guess that's good enough. To all gods known and unknown, I say. To all entities known and unknown, I say. All right. Okay, and I'm going to give a great shout out on this one to my Aunt Jane Esther, 
which is my first